This week on the news, why are there so many crashes happening at New Hampshire's toll barriers? Forecasts for extreme heat impel authorities to issue warnings to travelers and getting away from the storm. This week, we take a look at evacuation routes in the Carolinas. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's update of all that is coming down the pike. A 52-year-old man is the latest to be killed on New Hampshire toll roads after colliding with a concrete barrier approaching a toll plaza. The incident Thursday at the Bedford Plaza on the Everett Turnpike marked the sixth time in the past 90 days there has been a crash at a toll plaza on New Hampshire's toll roads. A witness pulled the driver from the wreckage after a fire erupted at the crash scene. However, first responders were not able to save the man, a 52-year-old from nearby Nashua. An official with New Hampshire's DOT told local media the rash of crashes at toll barriers is cause for concern as they are not connected to weather events. A weather event that could cause problems is the heat wave forecast to build from the Midwest into the nation's eastern seaboard this week. Our forecast partners at AccuWeather predict as many as 135 million people will be impacted by the heat wave, which built first across the Midwest and Ohio Valley and is expected to spread eastward to the Mid-Atlantic and New England. The predictions for heat indices near 100 have prompted the Ohio Emergency Management Agency to issue a survival guide to travelers. Among the safety tips to drivers, drink plenty of water and don't wait until you're thirsty. Avoid sugary drinks and those high in caffeine. Wear loose-fitting clothing, and if you're outside, take plenty of breaks out of the sun. And avoid leaving pets in cars, as heat in a vehicle, particularly during a heat wave, can kill in a matter of minutes. The heat wave began building around a dome of high pressure over the weekend and is expected to peak next weekend across the eastern seaboard. All that heat drives tropical weather, notably tropical waves, storms, and hurricanes. Forecasters at the Tropical Prediction Center in Miami are already tracking a pair of disturbed regions across the U.S. or near the U.S. With hurricane season less than three weeks old, it is a reminder to know the evacuation routes that could impact you. Last week we looked at Florida, this week we examined the Carolinas. The Carolinas' unique geographic position along the U.S. Atlantic coast puts them right in the line of the so-called Hurricane Highway which typically begins off the African coast near the Cabo Verde Islands, making its way across the tropical Atlantic before curving its way into the Caribbean. Depending on the time of the year, these currents will either then steer the storm into the Gulf of Mexico or curve it into a tight bow that whips it across the eastern seaboard, often colliding directly with South or North Carolina along the way. There are only three key interstate routes away from the beaches in the Carolinas, I-26 in South Carolina, which moves traffic inland toward the state's capital of Columbia, and I-40 and I-42 in North Carolina. For those in Wilmington, North Carolina or nearby, the I-40 route brings traffic north and eventually west out of the city inland towards Raleigh, intersecting with I-95 along the way. Another evacuation route out of Wilmington is US-74, which is a freeway leading westerly out of Wilmington and connecting up with I-74 past I-95. Traffic leaving Moorhead City as well as Bern will use I-42, with US-17 as an alternate route. For those on North Carolina's famed Outer Banks, as well as those just north of the Outer Banks in Nags Head and Kitty Hawk, US-64 moves traffic inland and away from approaching storm surges. Next week, we'll take a look at Louisiana and Texas, which have a long history of being susceptible to flooding as a result of hurricanes and tropical storms. Until then, please drive safely, remembering situational awareness. And thank you once again for watching. From all of us at Turnpikes.com, the Turnpike Authority.